having people over for a couple days so we're gonna go ahead and deep clean you and me pair well so let's get to cleaning yes you heard me pick up that broom pick up that vacuum and let's get to work so the kitchen is pretty much good i try to keep up with the day-to-day -day cleaning like the kitchen for example but we can dive deeper i did sweep a little bit but we are gonna we're gonna sweep again let's go ahead and put those dishes up if you guys can see them i do have a dish that i have to wash so i have to wash that Ugh. do you guys have that one annoying pot that you have to wash and you just I don't know prolong it because you just hate washing it it's not even that it takes a long time it's just it's just tedious girl and then after that we can go ahead and spray the countertop so we got the spooky rug there's a lot of crumbs so we're gonna go ahead like i said sweep the whole kitchen the kitchen gets dirty every day really sickly it's not a model home it's a real home so i'm gonna go ahead and vacuum the rug as well we got some work to do let's go All right, so that was pretty easy. Now here's the fun part. So we spray it with oil to keep it fresh. If you do some research on these kind of, I don't know. If you get one of these, you have to preserve it. Otherwise, it's going to rust. You don't want that, so you want to keep it oily and shiny. Get a paper towel and mix it around. And there you have it. And you want to get the back as well. See why I hate cleaning it? Now all I'm going to do right here is clean this area. I sprayed down the counters last night, but this one didn't get sprayed so well. Nice and clean. I'm gonna tackle the sink because yes, it's clean, but is it really? This is what the sink looks like now. Nice and semi shiny. You know, I, I did my best. Don't forget to clean your fridge too, guys. Your fridge needs love. I cleaned the top part already, but I didn't show it. So, we're doing the bottom half. Georgia. I'm starting to collect these little signs. <sighs> Just like my dad. Yeah, let me know down below where you're from and where you would like to visit next. If you've never traveled, where do you want to travel to first? Oh my god, why is this falling off? Why? Because oh, it's wet. <laughs> then we're also going to get this as well. Clean, dirty, clean, dirty. It's actually dirty right now. This may call for some dog dish though.
So I'm gonna be sweeping by portions, different parts of the house. Whatever doesn't come out, we'll just clean it. Don't you worry. Now remember, this is not a deep clean video. This is just a cleaning video. So don't judge me, please. I feel like whenever you're doing a cleaning video or cleaning, no matter what, somebody has something to say about it, which is fine. Just, you know, come at me the right way, please. Y'all have some tips of how I could clean more efficiently. And I would love to hear from y'all. Y'all let me know. Because it's too hot. It's too hot. Even here it's too hot to be doing this. It's hot. Don't forget to clean by the trash can. Some things don't make it inside the trash can. So did I mention we're also going to mop? We're gonna be using this bona and pine salt together, of course, hot water. Get your buckets ready and let's get to work. Now we're just gonna let the floor dry and in the meantime, I am going to vacuum two rugs. And look how much better that looks. I am gonna clean it with the rug doctor, so don't worry. I know it's still dirty. But right now we're actually gonna take a quick break because I'm actually having a console table delivered. While we wait, I changed into something a little more appropriate. I don't wanna give anybody the wrong impression. But let's do a load of laundry in the meantime. All of this is clean. More clean laundry right here. So that should be fun for us. The floor has fully dried now. Let's go ahead and put the rug down. Looks good. The trash, it always leaves that mark and it's so annoying. I'm so ready to get rid of that trash, but I don't know why trash cans are an arm and a leg. Literally, a simple trash can is $100 these days. Like, what? I'm trying to figure out, like, what? How can I clean this wall? Oh, that did it. Wow, that was easier than I thought it would be. So all I did was use this. This is not for that, but... I just used what I had in hand and bam, it worked. Whenever I put the trash can back, I put it right there. See how it's not touching the wall? Somehow, some way, it ends up touching the wall. Now, I know some of you guys may say I'm a lacy cleaner because I'm not rolling up the rug and cleaning what's under here. Listen, y'all, my back. That's all I have to say, my back. Okay. <laughs> it says the temperature in here is 74, but it literally feels like we're in hell. <laughs> got a call and they said that they're eight minutes away so let's try to hurry up and sweep this through cinderella style because well it already smells like fabuloso in here or smells like pine salt so they're gonna be impressed 
just don't want nobody saying anything about my house, even if I don't know them. <laughs> And I'm always hesitant to pick up calls now because it's always spam calls. I actually cleaned all the floors before they got here. This is all the floor we have, mainly in just the living room and the kitchen. So it looks nice and clean. Oh my God, guys, look at this beauty. One, it fits perfectly on the entrance. Let me show you guys a little further away. Guys, it fits just right. If it was any bigger, longer, wow. I've been wanting this console table for years now. Years! Let me show you guys from this other angle. Oh my goodness, y'all. It's so big, but it's beautiful. The delivery guys were super sweet. Here's all I have to say about this piece right here. So I got this from Ashley. The heck? So I got this piece from Ashley Furniture. If you guys saw the video where we went shopping for, just looking for furniture and all that, I will link it up above. So I wanted this piece. I made the mistake of going inside. And if you guys remember the price in the store was about 900, almost $1,000, which is insane. So if you didn't check online, then you would be paying that 900, $1,000 price because you didn't know that online it was $500 or $600, something like that. Way cheaper than $1,000 is what I'm getting at. So I go in there and I don't like when people, I always tell you guys, or if I have mentioned it before, I'm more than a pretty face. I'm not a dumb person. So I understand that they're trying to make their buck, but the scamming is just insane. They're professional scammers, basically. So he tried to charge me. Who keeps texting me? He tried to charge me for an assembly fee, extra fee, shipping fee, all these extra fees that, for one, changed the price to way more. So what I did was, I, while I was in the store, I calculated the total online because that's what I wanted to do. I just wanted to make sure that I wanted the piece, so I went there the second time to look at it. And he just somehow convinced me to like go ahead and buy it there, right then and there. So I did that. I wish I never did that. He added a bunch of extra hidden fees. And then when I confronted him about it, I was like, hey, the total is not matching the total online. Why is that? He's like, hmm, let me go find out. And then he was like, hmm, well, we can drop it down a little bit. I'm like, no, no, I'm just going to order it online. And he's like, no, 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 no. Okay, we'll match it. We'll match it. And then I told him, I had asked him. Does this come with like extra fees? No, 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 this is a total. Like I said, he charged me for the assembly fee. Do you see this, guys? It's assembled, it's assembled. So what assembly fee? Guys, please do not get scammed at furniture stores because that's what I'm gonna call it, scam. It's a scam, it's a professional scam. They're scammers. Please do not get robbed by Ashley Furniture. And funny enough, that same day I went on Yelp. Y'all know I'm a Yelper, y'all know me Yelp. And, I'm, and best believe I'm gonna leave a review. All the reviews about Ashley Furniture were bad. I have never seen the ratings be so low. There was more one star ratings than five. If that doesn't tell you something, then I don't know what else does. It's not just me, guys. It's not just me. People were complaining that they never got their furniture delivered. They kept saying that their delivery date kept changing. And then my biggest red flag about the guy that was helping me as you know, he was trying to talk to me and this and that. I'm in there for just furniture, okay? I'm, in, I'm not interested in talking to you, none of that. When I made the purchase and he matched the price online, he was like, oh, in one week, please text me at this number and I'll give you an update on the furniture. Guess what I never did? I never texted that number because why do I need to text him for an update when I can just go on the website, put the tracking, shipment number and get the update there which is what i did i will be the example only buy online if you can the prices are better online nine times out of ten times okay please 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 beware call it what it is scam this came assembled do y'all get that this came assembled so what assembly fee my man what assembly fee it's crazy Ta -da. Sounds like it's gonna break down any second. I don't know why it does. All right, I don't know. Mopping time.
I'm hoping the back room doesn't take a long time, but let's speed clean, y'all. Come on, make the bed with me. All right, so I just need to clean the nightstands and that right there. All right, so the bedroom is basically done. This is donate, so I need to put that in the car. This goes under my desk, and I'm gonna vacuum, so I'm putting everything on top of the desk. And then we can empty out that trash can. Let's vacuum real quick so we can be done with this room. Guys, I'm getting smarter with my cleaning techniques and I had forgotten. So I put a new bag under the existing bag that I had and I literally just went to the kitchen to grab a bag and I looked and there was already a bag at the bottom. So from now on, I advise you to put a new bag under the bag that you just put in. So like, you know, we just put this bag in and put another bag at the bottom of it. So bam, you don't have to go back and forth to get another bag okay i decided since the vacuum is right here honestly i don't feel like carrying it to the bedroom so i'm gonna be lazy and technically i'm not being lazy because it's gonna get done it'll just get done last but i'm gonna vacuum this room first the camera died but when i tell you guys this is a workout oh my god i am sweating and i have the fan on i did this whole room even the closet and then the hallway and yeah this room is done Finally tackling the bathroom. Oh my god, the last room. The room I hate the most. Before I continue on with the video, it's raining guys. Oh my god. Finally. It has been a drought in Texas, guys. I don't know where you live, but here in Texas it has not rained for a month plus. And I just saw rain. Thank you. I keep telling you guys it's hot, but really it's hot. And now I have plants to grow, and they're really, really sad. 
They're starving. They're dehydrated. No matter how much water I give them, they're like, oh my God, what's happening? Where am I? They're suffering. Ooh, I hope it's some good rain too. Ooh, it's raining, it's raining. Mm. It's fat, it's made back to back with a double up Hot a new duffel and came with the double Start it up, put the truck inside the front So when I'm backing up, I still front on every one of y'all niggas Hot, in a scat, fish on bay, where are you? The thing about the bathroom is, it doesn't take much to clean it Because it's such a small, compact place Next I'm gonna clear off this area Clean it I'm gonna clean the glass with some Windex. Get a paper towel and go to work. Patience. Patience, young one. And they get rich, that's too long more than I get a chase. You sell and run on my pants and my chase. She let a dress, you know my face. I eat a flesh, you know the rest. Kind of fun. That's the best I'll do for now. Then I'm gonna clean the sink off camera. I find that part very boring, so. Here's what the bathroom looks like done. Sink number one, sink number two, and then the mirror. The toilet holder thing broke, so that's why the toilet paper is there. Toilet is clean. And yeah, you guys, that completes today's video. I am so, so tired, so I'm ready to just get in bed and relax because my back is killing me but thank you so much for sticking around and watching the video and if you cleaned with me congratulations you made it to the end okay okay props to you props to you proud of you proud of you and with that being said i'll see you guys next time bye <laughs>